Our story begins over 5,000 years ago in ancient Egypt, where healers used urine's color and smell to detect illness. In Greece, Hippocrates introduced detailed physical exams, laying the groundwork for modern clinical methods. By 100 CE, Galen's four humor theory dominated diagnostics for centuries, linking bodily fluids to disease. In 1665, Robert Hooke's microscope revealed a new world he saw and named the cell in cork tissue. Just years later, Leeuwenhoek observed bacteria and protozoa, forever changing our understanding of disease. Robert Koch's discovery of tuberculosis bacteria in 1882 confirmed germs cause disease, not bad air. Graham's staining technique in 1884 made bacterial classification easier, still used in labs today. The 1800s also brought urine tests for urea, glucose, and ketones, early steps in clinical chemistry. Colorimeters introduced in 1903 allowed precise measurement of chemical reactions in body fluids. In 1901, Landsteiner identified ABO blood types, making transfusion safer and saving countless lives. Manual blood cell counting tools in the 1930s advanced hematology, aiding anemia and infection detection. The 1957 Coulter counter automated blood cell counts, a revolution in lab throughput and accuracy. Early serology began in 1906 with syphilis tests. By the 70s, ELISA could detect proteins with pinpoint accuracy. PCR, invented in 1983, let scientists amplify DNA, reshaping how we diagnose infectious diseases. By 2003, the Human Genome Project completed, setting the stage for personalized, gene-based medicine. In 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic reminded the world how vital diagnostics are to survival and public health. Today's labs feature AI, robotics, and smart sensors, redefining diagnostics in real time. From ancient rituals to futuristic tech, laboratory diagnostics now fuels earlier detection and better patient care, clinical lab diagnostics transforming healthcare.